Good morning. It's time for our daily devotion. Yesterday we talked about taking baby steps. Uh, taking small incremental steps in the right direction is generally uh, the best path to lasting change. Uh, I stand by that. I think in the overwhelming majority of cases that is the wisest choice. Uh, tested, uh, tried, proven uh, by many of us over the years that taking small um, incremental cautious steps uh, will bring about lasting change and um, and bring it at the most comfortable level however there are times when it is a good thing to leap uh, as a matter of fact there are times when it's advisable to leap and i want to talk to you about three of those times today first of all uh, it's advisable to leap when you're leaping out of danger if you're crossing the road and you see a semi barreling down the highway toward you, please don't take baby steps to get out of the way. <laughs> uh, you will likely uh, be hit uh, and injured or killed. Uh, if you see a semi barreling down the highway toward you, leap out of the way, please. And there are times in our life when there are dangerous things approaching us. Uh, when we see danger at hand for ourselves, for our children, uh, for our families, for our churches, uh, for uh, our work situations, and we are on a collision course, and the only way out of the way of that danger is to leap out of the way, to make a quick decision, uh, a drastic decision, uh, to leap out of the way of danger. Uh, there may be fallout sometimes from that uh, decision later on that you have to deal with. In other words, if you leap out of the way of a semi that's coming towards you, you may end up with uh, uh, skin to knees or uh, hands or elbows. Uh, you might even uh, break a bone, but that is uh, far preferable <laughs> to the uh, obvious uh, alternative. So sometimes when danger is headed your way, you can leap out of the way quickly, make that decision, and deal with the smaller consequences later. Uh, secondly, it's okay to leap out of the way uh, when you're leaping over a mud puddle. Uh, if you're approaching a mud puddle on the sidewalk and uh, it's three or four feet wide and it covers the entire sidewalk and walking through it is going to muddy you up, uh, ruin your clothes or ruin your shoes, uh, or maybe even have the possibility of slipping in the mud uh, and falling and doing even more damage, it's okay to leap over the mud puddle. <laughs> now, folks, listen, there are mud puddles in our lives. Uh, there are situations and circumstances in our life almost every day that I would classify as mud puddles. Uh, they are messes that you don't want to wade through. Uh, they are messes that you don't want to baby step through. As a matter of fact, they are messes that will contaminate you, and the longer it takes you to get through them, uh, the more stained and the more dirtied in the process you will be. Don't wade through it. Um, I've known a lot of Christians over the years who, who think that um, wading through a muddy situation um, will enable them to clean it up. And I'm just going to tell you that most of the time, uh, that's not the case. Most of the circumstances, uh, you're not going to change people uh, with an argument. You're not going to change their behavior uh, or a bad situation by your uh, protesting. Uh, the best thing you can do is just jump over it, get out of it, avoid it, and uh, go on about your business. So if there's imminent danger, leap out of the way. If there's a mud puddle, leap out of the way. And thirdly, uh, it's okay to make a leap uh, when you are leaping to higher ground. Uh, it's hard to climb a mountain with baby steps. Um, there is a certain amount of trekking uh, that is necessary to climb a mountain to get to higher ground. But there are also times when you have to kind of take a leap of faith. You have to move from one level to another. Uh, and sometimes that means uh, a bit of danger, um, a bit of vulnerability. Uh, but if you're ever going to get to the top, uh, you have to take some big steps, some giant steps, maybe even some leaps up in order to get to where uh, you need to be. It's the same in life. There are lots of circumstances and situations where steady and slow paces uh, bring about lasting change in a positive way. There are also times along the way when we just have to leap up to the next level, where we have to take that leap, uh, believing that God will sustain us, 
uh, and protect us and watch over us and to give us the courage that we need uh, to take that leap. And uh, I'll tell you, there are times when you take that leap and you get to that next level and you say, wow, this is awesome. And then maybe for a few days or weeks or months or even years, you're going to take some slow, steady steps to the next place where you have to take a leap. Uh, but if you're leaping up, uh, it's okay to occasionally take a leap of faith and to get there. Don't be foolish. Uh, don't leap off a cliff. Uh, that's going to get you to lower ground fast. Uh, but if there's a possibility for you to take the step up to the next level, to the next promotion, uh, to the next uh, place of authority, uh, to the next uh, deeper uh, place spiritually, and you need to leap up to do that, do it. Do it with faith and do it with courage. So uh, most of the time, take those small, consistent steps. Uh, be faithful every day to serve the Lord. Uh, but when the situation calls for it, when there is imminent danger, when there's a messy mud puddle ahead, or when it's necessary to get to the next level of faith, take a leap and make it a great day. And I'll see you next time.